non-destructive testing of material properties, determination of the authenticity of art pieces, customs and medicine. These are just some of the routine applications of X-rays in our everyday life. But what exactly are X-rays? There are two general types of X-rays which can be distinguished by their origin. So-called Bremsstrahlung is released when charged particles are decelerated. The German term means breaking radiation. For example, when an electron moves through the strong electric field of a nucleus, it gets deflected, slows down and thus loses kinetic energy. This energy is released as radiation, whereby a certain energy range corresponds to X-ray radiation. The second progress generating X-rays is called characteristic radiation. It occurs when electrons play billiards. A particle hits a bound electron in an atom, knocking it off its spot in the atomic shell. The vacancy can only be filled by an electron from a higher shell, that is, with higher energy. In order to fall into the inner shell and fill the spot, the electron has to give up some of its energy and releases it as electromagnetic radiation, the so-called characteristic X-ray radiation. When Wilhelm Konrad Röntgen published the tremendous properties of this remarkable radiation in 1895, the news spread around the globe like wildfire. However, not everyone was entirely convinced at first. While physicians and natural scientists were extremely excited, some people had reservations about this new radiation that had the capacity to penetrate everything. However, not all of those were completely serious. This caricature displays the fear of body scanners that would bear the seemingly innocent citizens and expose their hearts of stone. On screen, men with X-ray vision made the world unsafe. But there were also real-world doubts about the applications of X-rays. For a long time, people were unaware of their harmfulness. Feet were radiographed in shoe stores to find the perfect fit. At parties, taking X-ray images of limbs was thought of as a fun game. And headaches thereafter were treated with a 15-minute exposure to the supposedly healing X-ray radiation. Today's applications of X-rays are far more serious, mainly in medicine. Röntgen's discovery revolutionized the examination of bones and tissue. For the first time in history, it was possible to create an image of the inner body of a patient. Nowadays, these pictures are even taken in 3D. For example, it's possible to image a beating heart in order to detect constrictions in a coronary vessel using CT. But there are also many applications beyond the use of X-rays in medicine. In harbours and at border posts, X-rays allow valuable insights. Fully loaded trucks are scanned, so smuggled goods have become way more difficult to hide. In industry, fissures, cracks, holes and trapped air in components compose a high risk to personal safety. X-rays can identify such defective parts quickly and reliably. Historic paintings often consist of several layers because they were painted over again and again. For example, in order to create a counterfeit on a historic canvas, X-ray technology can find the image behind the image. Widely unknown to the public, one of the most important applications of X-rays is so-called X-ray diffraction. It allows for an examination of matter on an atomic level and is thus a key method in material science, but also in molecular biology. We owe the knowledge of DNA structure with its characteristic double helix to this technology. In the pharmaceutical industry, X-ray diffraction helps with the development of new drug substances, for example in cancer research. However, this technology requires substantial effort. Huge particle accelerators like the XFEL near Hamburg are needed. Here, electrons are brought to high speeds of almost the speed of light along a 3.4 km tunnel, producing up to 27,000 X-ray flashes per second. X-ray radiation also assumes a central role in the ongoing miniaturization of microelectronics. The photolithographic production of computer chips 
for example for smartphones, uses soft X-ray radiation with wavelengths of a few nanometers. The largest part of X-ray radiation, however, is of natural origin. In the depths of the universe, it emerges in stellar systems and during supernova. Fortunately, these X-rays do not make it onto the Earth's surface thanks to our atmosphere, which protects our planet from these extraterrestrial impacts. X-ray satellites such as E. Rosita help scientists to understand this radiation coming from space. The mission, which started in 2019, is investigating the origin of this structure of the universe and exploring the most fascinating questions in astronomy. Researchers hope that the X-ray telescope mission is going to unravel the secrets of the mysterious dark energy and dark matter, find black holes and help explore distant galaxies.